We're here today on RealAgriculture.com. We're here with Troy Hadrick. He is a rancher from South Dakota. Welcome today, Troy. Hello. Good to see you. Okay, Troy, let's, you do a lot of work in uh, agricultural advocacy. Why do you think it's so important? A lot of today's conversations about agriculture and about food production are taking place online. And so we want to make sure that farmers and ranchers are, are in those conversations and making sure that our story is told and, and uh, giving those first-hand accounts about where food comes from. So uh, it's really important that we're there. Uh, those conversations are going to take place whether we're there or not, so we might as well make sure that it's not a one-sided story. So uh, what kind of tools do you use to sort of get to make sure your message is told? You know, there are several tools you can use. Um, I started out with a blog a couple of years ago, and uh, since that time, I've started complementing it with a Facebook fan page and a Twitter account, and so that I can uh, touch, you know, different audiences with different types of social networking tools. So, what kind of response have you got back from uh, different people you've interacted with? You know, it's really been good. Anytime um, us as, as producers can get on and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a consumer, uh, it's almost always turns out very positive. Most of those folks have ever na never actually uh, met a real farmer, a real rancher, and you know, we're not necessarily living where our, all of our consumers live, and they're obviously not living where we live, and so. Uh, social networking tools kind of give us the ability to meet and have dialogue and have those conversations without either of us leaving home. So do you find that a lot of consumers are very interested in the kind of the story that or the information that you would provide? They absolutely are. Uh, they want to know where their food comes from and they want to know that there's farmers and ranchers out there you know taking care of the livestock and doing a good job. I think there's a lot of misconception out there that there's these giant corporations that are controlling our food and and controlling, you know, raising it all and doing all these things. And the fact of the matter is that 98% of all of our farms and ranches in this country are still owned by family farms, uh, you know, and it's family members going out there every day, you know, making the livestock that they're raising a priority in their life and, and doing the right thing. And that's the story we really need to share. So you also, uh, along with a lot of your speaking efforts, you also ranch in South Dakota, as we mentioned. What's ranching been like, uh, you know, lately in, in the United States? You know, ranching is always going to have its challenges and, you know, its upsides and its downsides. Uh, you know, the weather's been uh, a challenge, and, and I don't know if that's really news or not. It seems like every year the weather is a challenge, um, regardless of what you talk about. But uh, that's something you, you basically expect the unexpected when it comes to weather, and, and uh, every year we learn how to deal with it. And, um, you know, I think the thing that we've learned over the last few years on our ranch, and it, it really come to find out is, is some of the things that we're doing off the farm and ranch every year um, can have just as big of an impact on our bottom lines as things we are doing on our farms and ranches. And, and that's why we really think it's important to be involved in, in organizations like NCBA and going out there and making sure that our voice is heard and that, uh, that we're, 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 we're involved to make sure there's a good climate for agriculture to flourish in. Okay, so you do a lot of work with Advocates for Agriculture. What's the URL of the site? Uh, you can visit us at www.advocatesforag.com or you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, just search Advocates for Ag on Facebook and uh, you can become a fan of ours. Great, well thanks a lot for joining us today, Troy. Thank you, Sean.